What's going on guys, it's M Valtry Fishing here, and today I'm going to be going over my top three baits for the early summer and late spring period. So it's that time of the year with the water starting to warm up, the bass are starting to come out and be more active and getting out of their spawning period. So here I have my top three baits to throw in their colors. So number three on my list has to be the Zoom Brush Hog. The Brush Hog is a creature bait that creates a uh, large disturbance in the water with its two paddles here and curly tails. Even though it doesn't look like something the bass normally eats, it catches a lot of fish. I like to fish it Texas rigged, like this with a Mustad or a Gamagatsu four rot hook, extra wide gap here. And I like to fish it with a bullet weight on the top. It gives it a nice presentation on the water. It'll look like it's um, sticking straight up. It usually sticks straight up like this. It gives you a good presentation. The bass love it. This is a green pumpkin, that's my favorite color. You can use the actual brush hog. This is the baby brush hog, which is just a smaller version. Uh, I like green pumpkin. A couple other good colors are um, watermelon and uh, June bug. So let's move on to number two. Number two on my list has to be the finesse worm. The finesse worm is a very versatile bait. There's a bunch of different kinds. I believe this one is Cabin Creek baits, I could be wrong, I got it in a mystery tackle box. These things are great, they have a, like I said, they have a wide variety of ways to fish it. You can fish it on a drop shot, you can fish it weightless in Texas, or you can put it on a Carolina rig. I like to fish mine weightless. Um, I like to fish them weightless because when you jig it up, they'll flutter on the way down. And like a uh, weightless, well, they'll be sticking straight up and just twitch like that. So um, I like these baits. I've caught several bass on these. I, I just started bass fishing. I don't know if you guys knew that. And I've caught two bass on this. This one exact, actually. So, uh, color-wise, I like this color. It's kind of like a transparent chartreuse with black and glitter and uh, a couple red sparkles. Um, and I also have these black ones here, which are very long. So, yeah, that's number two on my list. And number three on my list has got to be, hands down, the Sanko, 5-inch Sanko or stick bait. The Sanko is my go-to bait. No matter when I go fishing or where, I'll always catch myself using this bait. And that's not a bad thing. It's just because the bait is so good itself. It just always outperforms every other one of my South Plastics, especially in the summertime. So um, <clears throat> I like to rig these. Uh, I usually rig them wacky, which is uh, where you fold it in half. And then put the hook right through the middle, and this will give you a, like, a W sort of presentation. A little flap like this in the water, and the bass love that. So uh, my favorite colors to use are June Bug is my favorite color. That's this. It's like a darker blue with uh, lighter blue speckles in it. This is Yum, this brand. Uh, I like to use this kind of, uh, <clears throat> sorry, green pumpkin uh, looking one. But instead of like black sparkle uh, glitter like this, with the brush hog, it has um, like white, green, and red in there. So that's my, uh, it's another one of my favorite colors. And my last favorite color is this. This might look a little funky, but it's very versatile. Cause it's got a natural look inside like this. And it's got a vibrant color look inside here. So you can use this in uh, somewhat muddy water. I think it's very versatile. I've caught several fish on this. A couple of other good colors to have that I didn't mention here are black. Black is a color you should always carry because it could be used in a variety of conditions. It could be used in muddy water. It shows up. If you're fishing at night, you would want to use this. You could also use it in clear water. Another good color to use is bubblegum or pink. I like to use this because it looks like an earthworm under the water. Uh, it's very vibrant. You could use it in muddy water, clear water, whatever. So those are my top three favorite baits to use in the early summer, or throughout the whole summer, really, in late spring period, as soon as the bass are finished their, with their spawning. Uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It'll give, uh, give me some more tips and everything I could do in the future.